And welcome GPAC baseball fans into Crete, Nebraska for GPAC tournament baseball right here on the Dome Sports Network. I'm Rich Schmecker bringing you today's action as we kick off the Dome bracket. Our first game today will be the University of Jamestown Jimmies taking on the Mount Marty University Lancers. Jamestown comes in 28 and 21 on the season. They are the number six seed. Mount Marty comes in 28 and 17, and they are the number three seed. Earlier this year, these two teams met up with Mount Marty sweeping a triple header as they were unable to play their four game weekend. They played three games on one day and the Lancers were able to take all three from the Jimmies. So let's take a look at the lineup. First for Jamestown, again 28 and 21 on the season. Sixth seed in the G-Pack. Leading things off and in right field will be Brian Rice. Batting second, the shortstop, Grant Okawa. Hitting third and serving as the designated hitter will be Dylan Dudley. Batting fourth and at first base, Lincoln Trujillo. Hitting fifth at second base, Bryce Foster. Batting sixth in left field, Taylor Cullen. Batting seventh at third base, Kendall Yackley. Batting eighth and catching, Dirk Amundsen. And batting ninth in center field, Chase Hacker. On the hill for the Jimmies will be Drew Fitz. He comes in with a six and two record on the season. So for the Jimmies, it's Rice, Okawa, Dudley, Trujillo, Foster, Cullen, Yackley, Amundsen, and Hacker with Fitz pitching. The lineup for the Lancers, again, 28 and 17, the three seed here in the tournament. Leading off in that shortstop, Jet Weber. Batting second and at second base, Josh Roman. Hitting third, the third baseman, Mason Townsend. Hitting cleanup and catching, Billy Hancock. Batting fifth in right field, Cade Koletsky. Batting sixth and at first base, Colin Muth. Batting seventh in left field, Cole Anderson. Batting eighth, the designated hitter, Julito Fazzini. And batting ninth in center field, David Richardson. Pitching for the Lancers will be Tyler Priest. Priest is eight and two on the season. So for Mount Marty, it's Weber, Roman, Townsend, Hancock, Koletsky, Muth, Anderson, Fesney and Richardson with Priest pitching. Umpires are meeting with the two head coaches at the moment as the field is getting its final touches. We'll have the national anthem momentarily, and then we'll have first pitch of this Dome Bracket GPAC baseball tournament between the Lancers and Jimmies right here on the Dome Sports Network.
matchup between the University of Jamestown Jimmies and the Mount Marty University Lancers. Here's your batting order first for Jamestown, leading off the right fielder, number 18, Brian Rice. Batting second, the shortstop, number 7, Grant Okawa. Batting third, the designated hitter, number 17, Dylan Dudley. Batting cleanup, the first baseman, number 13, Lincoln Trujillo. Batting fifth, the second baseman, number three, Bryce Foster. Batting sixth, the left fielder, number five, Taylor Cullen. Batting seventh, the third baseman, number one, Kendall Yackley. Batting eighth, the catcher, number 22, Dirk Amundsen. Playing center field and batting ninth, number eight, Chase Hacker. Pitching for Jamestown, number eight, correction, number 10, Drew Fitz. Here is a batting order for Mount Marty. Leading off the shortstop, number three, Jet Weber. Batting second, the second baseman, number six, Josh Roman. Batting third, the third baseman, number 10, Mason Townsend. Batting clean up the catcher, number 14, Billy Hancock. Batting fifth, the right fielder, number eight, Cade Koletsky. Batting sixth, the first baseman, number 44, Colin Muth. Batting seventh, the left fielder, number two, Cole Anderson. Batting eighth, the designated hitter, number 32, Julito Fazzini. Batting ninth, the center fielder, number 19, David Richardson. Pitching for Mount Marty, number 37, Tyler Priest. And now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we ask that you please stand and remove all caps and hats as we honor America with a recorded version of our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the red we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets rang there the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave thank you And welcome in back to Creed, Nebraska, as we get ready for game one of the Dome Bracket between the Jimmies and the Lancers. Other action in the G-Pack. They are about ready for first pitch over in Seward in the Concordia Bracket as Briarcliff and Morningside will be facing off. Briarcliff the five seed, Morningside the four seed. And then later on will be Hastings against Concordia. Our second game here today will feature Northwestern and Doan. Northwestern the seven seed, Doan is the two seed as the host. Taking a look up in Sioux City, GPAC softball tournament. Doan taking on Mount Marty currently. And the Lancers batting in the sixth inning, starting to make a little comeback as they have scored three runs in the sixth. Doan leads five to three. That is an elimination game in softball action. So Tyler Priest will be on the hill for Mount Marty to open up the G-Pack tournament. Left-handed pitcher. 
We mentioned he is 8-2 on the season. Has a 3.91 earned run average. Has pitched 53 innings this year. Has allowed 59 hits. 34 runs, 23 have been earned. 18 walks, 37 strikeouts. Opponents batting 276 against him. So Brian Rice will lead off for Jamestown. Rice comes in with a 303 batting average. Three home runs, 23 RBIs. We're getting ready for first pitch. Off speed, gonna miss outside, ball one. First pitch is 12.03. Next pitch missing outside, ball two. So 2-0 oh, the count, two rice. Fastball high, ball three. Jamestown not afraid to run when they're on the base paths. Rice is 10 for 14, so my answer is want to keep him off the base paths if possible for, as this next pitch is in for a called strike. Three and one the count to the leadoff hitter, Brian Rice. Next pitch, swung on and missed. Count is full at three balls and two strikes. Billy Hancock, the catcher for the Lancers. One of the top players in the G-Pack. Pitch fouled off, and it goes back to the screen. Count holds at three balls and two strikes. Clear skies here in Crete. As yeah, fastball misses high, ball four, leadoff walk. Inning second, the shortstop, number seven, Grant. Defensively Ottawa. for the Lancers, you have Anderson in left, Richardson in center. Koletsky is in right, Townsend at third, Weber at short, Roman at second, Muth over at first. And as mentioned just a few moments ago, Hancock behind the plate. That brings up Grant Okawa. He'll take the first pitch for a ball. Comes in with a 312 batting average, six home runs, 17 RBIs. Of the runner and pitch. Swung on, popped up into right field. And it's going to be caught by Koletsky for hitter. out number one. Number so I'll bring up Dudley. 333 batting average, eight home runs, 25 driven in. Left-handed bat. Off-speed pitch fouled off out of play. Count is 0-1. Rice standing down at first base. Again, mentioned that he's 10 of 14 in stolen bases this year. Dudley will step back in. Rice takes his lead. The pitch off speed. Can be a called strike. Count on two.
The left-hander on the mound, that could help the Lancers in limiting Jamestown running and a pickoff play as Rice had started to go towards second base and he's gonna be picked off. He'll actually go down as a caught stealing as he did start leaning towards the second base bag. So that will be a 1-3-6-3 three, three, caught stealing. Count still 0-2 on Dudley, but now there are two down. Fastball misses outside. So the count moves to a ball and two strikes to Dudley. Fastball, high and away, ball two. Wind blowing out today to center field. And a swing and a miss for strike three. So for Jamestown, no runs on, no hits, no errors, and no one left on base. After half an inning, Jamestown zero. Mal Marty coming up. And welcome back to Crete, Nebraska for GPAC Baseball as we get ready for the Wait bottom of the first the inning. Morning. Drew Fitz Short is on the hill for Jamestown. Six and two record, a 3.11 earned run average in 12 starts this year. He has three complete games, two shutouts, 66 and two thirds innings pitched. He's allowed 58 hits, 29 runs, 23 have been earned, 12 walks, 71 strikeouts, and opponents batting 234 against him. Jet Weber, first pitch swinging. He's gonna lift it into shallow right center and it will be caught for out number one. Second, the second baseman, number six, Josh Roman. So that's gonna bring up Roman. First pitch in for a called strike. Count 0 and 1. Next pitch taken for a ball one. Count evens out at 1 and 1. Roman batting 388. 10 home runs, 31 driven in. With a left handed batter. So next pitch misses for a ball. So Fitz working quickly. The wind and the pitch. Swung on, lifted down the left field line. And it's close to the fence down the line. It's going to fall untouched. Count now two and two. In the bottom of the sixth inning, softball action up in Sioux City. Doan leading Mount Marty five to three.
So a game that's of interest to not only us here in Crete, but also Lancer fans around the country. Fastball missing outside, ball three. We'll give a score update from Seward here in just a moment. It's the three-two pitch on the way, breaking ball. It's gonna be blooped into right field, down for a base hit. So Roman with the single, and then the ball gets away from right fielder, and Roman takes advantage. So the other single and an error as Rice unable to play it cleanly. Betting third, third baseman, number 10, Mason Townsend. And that's gonna bring up Townsend. Defensively for the Jimmies, Colin in left, Hacker is in center, Rice is in right, Yackley at third, Okawa at short, Foster is at second, Trujillo at first, Amundsen behind the plate, Townsend steps in, takes the first pitch outside for ball one. Townsend batting 360, nine home runs, 34 driven in. Runner at second, one down, the pitch. Swung on ground ball to second base. Foster has it, throw over to first is in time. Roman will move up to third on the ground out. Catcher, number 14, Billy Hancock. So that's gonna bring up Hancock. Hancock steps in, 426 batting average, 15 home runs, 49 driven in. First pitch from Fitz is in for a called strike. Over in Seward. Briar Cliff with an early lead on Morningside. They are in the bottom of the first inning. Chargers lead 1-0. Breaking ball swung on and foul tipped at the plate. Hancock down in the count. No balls, two strikes. Roman down at third base. Two down. Fastball outside corner for a cold, strike three. So Hancock down on strikes looking. That's gonna end the inning. No runs on a hit. There was an error and one left on. After one inning, we're scoreless here in Crete. And welcome back as we get ready for the second inning. And Lincoln Trujillo will lead off. Trujillo batting 308, six home runs, 23 driven in on the season. And he'll take the first pitch for a called strike. Next pitch from Priest in there for strike number two. So Priest out quickly. No balls, two strikes. K-1 
Kick and the pitch. Swung on ground ball to second. Throw over to first by Roman. is going to be in time for out number one. Betty fifth, the second baseman, number three, Bryce Foster. So I'll bring up Foster. Foster leads the team in hitting with a 363 batting average. Five home runs, 30 driven in. First pitch called strike. So 18 pitches so far from Priest, 11 have been strikes. Next pitch swung on and missed, actually foul tip, caught by Hancock. Either way, count moves to 0-2. Defense playing straight away for Foster. Line drive into left center field. That's going to be down for a base hit. It's going to be bobbled down center field, and Foster's going to try to move up, and he will. So a single and an error. And the Jimmies have a runner in scoring position with one down. Batting six, the left fielder, number five, Taylor Cullen. So that's going to bring up Cullen. Cullen will step in, 307 batting average, three home runs, 32 driven in. Pitch on the way, big breaking ball, comes across for a called strike. Priest checks the runner and the pitch. Coming in for a called strike. Again, Priest out in front, no balls, two strikes. Hancock flashing signs. Priest will come set. Pitch on the way. Fastball misses high, ball one. Jackley awaits in the on-deck circle. <coughs> Bruce takes a couple looks back at second. Pitch on the way. Breaking ball, grounded. It's going to take a high hop off the lip of the grass and go out into left field. And we will have runners at the corners as Foster had to hold up. On the ground ball, that'll be a base hit Batting for Colin. The third baseman, number one, Kendall Yackley. So Yackley will step in, runners at the corners. Colin over at first base, 13 for 14 in stolen bases this year. Foster is 7 of 10. Yackley steps in. 313 batting average, 6 home runs, 21 driven in. First pitch from Priest Bunt is going to be fouled back to the screen. Count 0 1. Yackley looking down, getting the signs, see if there's anything on. He was bunting first pitch. Step over towards first and throw. He's going to chase Cullen back. on the way. Ground ball. That's going to be just foul. 
Third base line. Count 0 and 2. Townsend, who's playing even with the bag over at third. Laid out, but the ball crossed foul just in front of the bag. Boys, it would have been extra bases and Jimmy's would have had the lead. But the count 0-2 as Priest comes set. The pitch, swung on, popped up. Foul territory, third base side. Townsend calls for it, makes the catch for out number two. Heading eight, the catcher. Number 22, Dirk Amundsen. So a two done, two down, that brings up Amundsen. Jamestown catcher gets ready to step in. Amundsen batting 171 on the season. Two home runs, eight driven in. Hitting out of the eight hole. First pitch, breaking ball, misses outside, ball, ball one. On the play, Colin stealing second. Pitch low and away, ball two. Speed pitch catches the outside corner for a called strike. Two balls and a strike to count to Amundsen. Next pitch, fastball called strike outside corner. Deuces are wild here in the second. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, two on for number 22, Amundsen. Priest comes set. Pitch on the way. Breaking ball, swung on and missed for strike three. For Jamestown, no runs so for Jamestown, no runs on two hits. There was one Lancer error and two left on. We go to the bottom of the second in a scoreless ball game. And welcome back as 
get ready for the bottom of the second inning. Kate Koletsky will lead off. Count 1 and 0. First pitch missing outside. Next pitch missing just above the belt for ball two. Final up in Sioux City. Doan defeating Mount Marty in softball action 6 to 3 in an elimination game. Next pitch, fastball called strike. Count out two balls and one strike. Ground ball back up the middle. That'll be a base hit for Koletsky. Batting six, the first baseman, number 44, Koletsky Colin. came into today's action batting 350, 12 home runs, 36 RBIs, and with that hit, that will raise that batting average. Colin Muth will step in. 331 batting average, five home runs, 32 driven in. First pitch strike to the big left-handed first baseman from Mount Marty. Smooth scores around, lays down a bunt, third base side. Throw to first on the sacrifice. Is in time by Ackley. The left fielder, number two, Cole Anderson. Zaleski will move up to second base. So they'll bring up Anderson. First pitch to Anderson is a called strike. It's a runner at second base. One down, bottom of the second. Breaking ball. It's going to drop in for a called strike. Anderson down. No balls, two strikes. Anderson coming into today. 261 batting average, three home runs, 12 driven in. Pickoff play, and ball's going to be sailed out into right center field. A great deke by the shortstop for the Jimmies. That's Okawa, and he just held his glove on Koletsky, who thought he had the ball, and he will not advance, not knowing that the ball was center, sailed into right center field. Breaking ball is going to miss in the dirt. Ball one. Pitch ready. The pitch on the way is taken low. Throw back down to second. That's going to get away. from Foster, but not far enough for Koleski to move up. Two balls, two strikes to count to Anderson. Breaking ball, fouled off, first base side. All GPAC games, nine innings, no mercy rule. So you play them out. Pitch fouled back out of play. Count holds it two balls and two strikes.
Lopez takes a look back at second, now makes the pitch and another pop up. First base side, and the ball's gonna drift out of play. So Anderson has fouled off the last three pitches. Eighth pitch of the at-bat will be coming up. The kick and the spin around to chase Koleski back to second. Fitz comes set. The pitch. Swung on and missed. First strike three. So Anderson down on strikes. Hitter, number 32, Fazzini. So that'll bring up Fazzini. He comes in 338 batting average. One home run, 13 driven in. Two down, runner at second for Mount Marty. Ground ball foul, third base side. Long look by Fitz into his catcher, Amundsen, has the sign in, makes the pitch, and it's gonna be fouled back to the screen. Out quickly, 0 and 2. And next pitch fouled off out of play. Richardson would hit next if Fazzini can extend this inning. Breaking ball lined and caught at shortstop. Okawa just on the edge of the grass to record the final out of the inning. For Mount Marty, no runs on a hit. There were no errors and one left Over on base. Marty, no on After base two, Aaron Creek, Jamestown zero, Mount Marty zero. And welcome back. Chase Hacker to lead off for Jamestown. And the first pitch is going to be a called strike. Next pitch from Priest. Slow roller. Third base side foul. Count now 0-2. Hacker on the season, 297 batting average. One home run, six driven in. Nine hole hitter for Jamestown. Now 
Next pitch will miss inside, ball one. Hacker, one of the top center fielders in the G-Pack, has not committed an error this year defensively in 72 opportunities coming into today. Chopper to third, Townsend throw across, it is not in time. Infield base hit for Hacker. The right fielder, Brian Rice. Well, back to the top of the order with Rice. Hacker over at first base, leads the team with 19 stolen bases and 26 attempts. Bunt shown and put down at the first baseline. Priest picks it up, spins, throws. Wasn't pretty, but he was able to get the out on the sacrifice. Hacker moves up to second base. Okawa. Okawa flew out to right field in his first at bat. First pitch, breaking ball, in for a called strike. Owen won the count. Hancock flashing signs. Priest will come set. Takes a look back at second. The pitch. Swung on. Lifted down the right field line. Foul territory. And it will go out of play. Count 0 2. Hacker down at second base. Okawa at the plate, 0 and 2 the count. Priest comes set. The pitch. He's going to miss high and away for a ball. One ball, two strikes to count. Priest will spin back and chase Hacker back to second base. One and two to count to Okawa. The pitch on the way. It's gonna be line foul. Count remains a ball and two strikes. <laughs> Northwestern players have made their way here to the ballpark. Taking in part of this first game. They'll be part of game two here today. They take on the host team Doan. One and two the count. Priest taking a couple looks back at second. And now time requested by Okawa. As Hacker continued to extend his lead. Eventually Roman started to make his way back towards second base from a second base position. Only to have Okawa request time, have it granted. 
Huge lead by Hacker, probably a good 10 feet off the bag. This next pitch lifted foul out of play. Gorgeous day to open up the GPAC baseball tournament. We had a storm blow through yesterday. The field is in great shape and Priest will step off, chasing Hacker back to second base. We've only seen five pitches, but this is probably the longest at bat of the game so far. One ball, two strikes to count as Priest comes set. Another look back at second. The pitch. Swung on right back to Priest, but it goes under his glove into center field. A base hit. Hacker comes around third. He's going to score. And a RBI single from Okawa puts the Jimmies on the board. The designated hitter. Dylan Looked like it was going to be right back to Priest, but it snuck under his glove and made its way out into center field. So I'll bring up Dylan Dudley. So Kawa takes his lead over at first. He has seven steals on the season. Breaking ball is going to miss low and away. Ball one. Mentioned Jamestown not afraid to run. 98 stolen bases coming into play today and 131 chances. They are one for two today. Next pitch swung on and missed on the breaking ball. Count evens out at one ball and one strike. One on with one out. Jamestown with a run in here in the third inning. Another breaking ball can be lifted into foul territory, third base side. Townsend moves over, makes the catch for out number two. The first base at Lincoln, Trujillo. So at two down, that brings up Trujillo. Trujillo grounded out to second base in his first at bat. First pitch swinging, lifted into fairly deep center field, but it's 400 to straightaway center, and it's going to be caught by Richardson for out number three. So for the Jimmies, they get a run on two hits. There were no Lancer errors and one left on base. We go to the bottom of the third. Jamestown in front, 1-0.
David Richardson will lead off for Mount Marty. First pitch swinging fouls it off. Richardson batting 174 on the season. No home runs, four driven in. Fastball for a called strike. Count 0 and 2. We're going to the fourth inning over in Seward. Briarcliff and Morningside tied at one. Pitch was in the dirt, swing and a miss. Throw down to first base is going to be in time to record the strikeout with the 2 3 put out. So we go back to the top of the order with Weber. Weber 0 for 1. First pitch is going to miss for a ball as Weber had squared around. The wind and the next pitch from Fitz is going to be taken outside low, ball two. Two and zero, the count to the shortstop from the Lancers. Pitch by Fitz, popped up, right field line, calling for it and making the catch in foul territory is Foster, second baseman, the second Rowland. baseman for Jamestown, for out number two. It's going to bring up Roman. He's one for one. He has one of the two Lancer hits. Single to right field in his first at bat. First pitch swing and they'll foul it off. Out of play. The line and the pitch. Breaking ball stays high. Ball one. Another breaking ball. This one's going to catch the outside corner. Count now one ball, two strikes to Roman. Fitz shaking off a couple signs. He's ready. The wind, the pitch. Fastball swung on and missed. First strike three. So three up, three down for the Lancers in the third inning. Through three, it's Jamestown one, Mount Marty zero. Bryce Foster will lead off for Jamestown as we go to the fourth inning. First pitch fastball, going to miss outside, ball one. Foster a single to center field in his first at bat. Next pitch is going to be lifted into shallow left center, moving over and sliding to make the catch. Is going to be Anderson, 
for out number one. The left fielder, Taylor Cullen. So I'll bring up Cullen. He had a base hit through the left side back in the second inning. Priest comes set the pitch. Fastball inside corner for a called strike. Next pitch on the way. Swung on, ground ball, picked over at third by Townsend. Throw across is in time for the out. Third baseman, Kendall Yackley. So that's going to bring up Yackley. He is 0 for 1 in the game. Fouled out to third base in his first at bat. Breaking ball, stays high for ball one. Want to know the count? Next pitch, another breaking ball. This one's going to drop low. Count two and zero. Oh. So two and zero, oh, the count to Yackley. Pitch from Priest, fastball, called strike. Two and one the count, the pitch. Checks in foul, back to the screen. And the count holds at, or goes to two and two. So two balls, two strikes to count. Pitch on the way. Swung on and missed for strike three. So three up, three down for Jamestown in the fourth. We head to the bottom of four. Jamestown leading one to zero. Townsend will lead off for Mount Marty as we go to the bottom of the fourth inning. Townsend 0 for 1. He grounded out to Foster in his first at bat. First pitch swinging. Lifts it into center field. And coming in to make the catch is Hacker for out number one. The catcher, Billy Hancock. So one pitch, one out for Fitz. Now bring up Hancock. He struck out looking in his first at bat. First pitch, swung on and missed. The big cut. Count 0 and 1. Wind the pitch. Taken low. Count evens out at a ball and a strike. Yeah. 
Next pitch on the way. Breaking ball in there for a called strike on the inside corner. Fitz ahead of the count. A ball and two strikes. Next pitch from Fitz. Breaking ball. Fouled off as Hancock able to send it out of play. Next pitch fouled off, third base side. Count remains a ball and two strikes. Hancock steps back in. Fitz has a sign. Fastball on the outside corner, fouled back. Count remains a ball and two strikes. The wind from Fitz and the pitch. And another pitch fouled off, this time down the first baseline. Good battle between Hancock and Fitz. Another one two pitch swung on and another foul ball. Fitz has been around the zone, 49 pitches so far, 37 have been for strikes. Next one, breaking ball just missing for ball two. Maybe missed inside, maybe it was a touch low, so it was a breaking ball. Now the 2-2, fastball, fouled off out of play. Ten pitch at bat already. Amundsen drops down the sign, fits ready. The pitch on the way. Breaking ball called, strike three. Hancock caught looking for the second time. The right fielder, Cade Koletsky. I'll bring up Koletsky. Koleski one for one as he singled back up the middle in his first at bat. First pitch is a called strike. Kick the pitch, breaking ball, misses outside. Count evens up at one and one. Another breaking ball, this one's fouled off to the backstop. Count a ball and two strikes to Koleski. The wind, the pitch. Breaking ball alone away. Ball two. Next pitch fouled back to the screen. Count holds it two and two. Two pitch, fastball Christian misses Ray, away. The area behind the backstop is for media and team personnel only. Three balls, two b strikes, the count. We willing us to find a nice seat, but we need to keep that free. Thank you very much, folks. So another 3-2 pitch coming up. And it's going to miss outside for ball four. First baseman, Colin Moot. So a two-out walk will bring up Moot.
First pitch, ground ball back up the middle, base hit. Goletsky trying to go to third, throw in is not going to be in time. So a two-out rally for the Lancers, they now have runners at the corners. And I'll bring up Anderson. So Anderson will step in. He struck out swinging in his first at bat. Breaking ball called strike. Owen won the count. Breaking ball misses low and away in the dirt. Count goes even at a ball and a strike. Fitz comes set, the 1-1. One, one. Fastball, strike down the middle. Now Anderson down in the count, a ball and two strikes. One, two pitch, chopper off the plate. Fitz gets it, going off the back of the mound. Throw to first is in time to record the final out. So for the Lancers, no runs on a hit. There were no errors and two left on. After four innings, Jamestown one, Mount Marty zero. Matt Mraz will lead off for Jamestown as we go to the fifth inning. He is pinch hitting for Amason. First pitch is going to be swung on and missed. Pitch in the dirt for a ball. Mraz at the plate. Batting 298 on the season. Soft liner. It's going to be caught at shortstop by Weber for out number one. Center fielder Chase Hacker. So I'll bring up Hacker. Hacker infield single in his 
first at bat back in the third inning, and he came around to score the only run of the game. Pitch taken low in the dirt, ball one. Bunt going to be laid down first baseline. It's a good one. Flip to first. Not in time by Priest. Tough play for the left-handed pitcher. It's a bunt single. Right fielder, right, Brian Rice. So I'll bring up Rice. Rice still without an official at bat as he walked in the first and then had a sacrifice bunt in the third. Breaking ball. Rice looking to bunt for a base hit. Priest will pick it up and flips to first to record the out. So I'll go 1-3, but no sacrifice. The shortstop, Grant Okawa. Kawa getting ready to step in, but first we're going to have a visit to the mound. Okawa flew out to right field in his first at bat and then had an RBI single back up the middle in the third. This is going to be a visit to the mound as there's no action in the Mount Marty bullpen. So this game still belongs to Priest. There are two down. Here in the top of the fifth inning. Hacker, the runner out at second base. Home plate umpire gonna go out to try and break up this visit. Andy Bernato making his way back to the dugout after the visit. So Kawa will step in. Priest will come set and the pitch. And that is going to hit Okawa and he'll head down to first base. Looks like we're probably going to have a pinch hitter here. Pinch hitting for Dudley, number 11. It's our pinch hitter. Mike Azahara. Mike Azahara will step in. Azahara batting 282, one home run, 12 driven in. He's going to hit for Dudley out of the three hole. That means Dudley's day is done as DH cannot re enter. First pitch that called strike, count 0 and 1. He's taking a couple look at the base runners. Breaking ball on the way, and it's going to miss outside. Ball one. One ball, one strike to count. Asahara steps back in. Priest comes set. 
Long look back at second, pitch on the way, fastball missing outside. Count goes to two balls and a strike. Priest is ready, takes a look back at second, and a second look, now a third. The kick and the pitch. Fastball away, ball three. So hitters count, three balls and one strike. Hacker at second, Okawa at first. Priest will come set. The pitch, runners go. And it's going to be swung on, fouled off out of play. So now a full count as the runners return back to their bases and they'll be off on this next pitch as well. Three balls, two strikes to the pinch hitter, Mike Azahara. Priest comes set on the hill. The pitch swung on, popped up on the infield. Muth calling for it. And he'll make the catch to end the inning. So for Jamestown in the top of the fifth, no runs on a hit, no errors, no runs, two left no on. Hit, no errors, two we left go to the base. bottom of five, Jamestown in front, one to zero. And welcome back as we go to the bottom of the fifth inning. Bazzini set to lead off for Mount Marty. First pitch from Fitz is going to be fouled off out of play. The 1 on the way, and it's going to be a called strike. So Fitz ahead in the count, no balls, two strikes. Next pitch, just missing outside. One and two the count. Pitch lifted, shallow right field line. And going back and making the catch in foul territory is Trujillo for out number one. So I'll bring up Richardson. Number nine hitter for the Lancers steps in. Shows bunt and fouls off the breaking ball. Count 0 and 1.
Hope you're enjoying today's game here on the Doan Sports Network. Jamestown and Mount Marty in the opening game of the Doan bracket. Midway through, Jamestown leading one to zero. In the bottom of the fifth, the wind and the pitch. Fastball misses high, ball one. As the count goes even, one ball and one strike. Over in Seward, a big fourth inning for Briar Cliff has the Chargers in front of Morningside, seven to one, and they're in the fifth inning. Next pitch misses for ball two. Count now, two balls and a strike. And pitch is gonna hit Richardson. And he'll take first base. Shortstop, Jet Weber. Ran in on the hands and caught the forearm. So we go to the top of the order with Weber. Fitz pitches, and it's going to be lifted into shallow center. And it will be caught by Hacker for out number Second two. Second baseman, Josh Roman. So that brings up Roman. Roman steps in, one for two. Single in the first. Strikeout swinging in the third. Richardson takes his lead over at first as Fitz comes set. First pitch on the way, swung on, lifted down the left field line and it's gonna be down for a base hit. Richardson big turn at second and he will head back though as the throw is in quickly by Cullen. Third baseman Mason Townsend. So two on with two down for Townsend. Townsend, ground out to second and a fly out to center, 0 for 2. First pitch swinging, chopper to first base. Trujillo gets it. Maybe caught his no bare left. hand no as left. he Two came away base. shaking his we go right to hand. So a one to nothing game in favor of Jamestown. So for Jamestown, or for Mount Marty in the bottom of the fifth, no runs on a hit, there are no errors. Two left on. After five, Jamestown leads 1-0. And welcome back as we get ready for the sixth inning. Trujillo will lead off for Jamestown. He is 0 for 2, ground out to second and a fly out to center. Recorded the last out of the last half inning and takes the first pitch called strike. Pitch lone inside, ball, ball one. 
Lancers starting to have a little action down in the bullpen. Just to back up Priest in case he needs it. Pitch going to be line foul. Third base line. Count one and two. Priest at 72 pitches now. 49 have been for strikes. Next pitch, fouled off, out of play. Down the left field line. It's Trujillo out in front. The kick and the pitch. This is low, ball two. And now the 2-2. Two -two. Fastball outside, ball three. So after jumping out in front in the count, Priest now dealing with the full count. Three balls, two strikes. Here's the pitch. Swung on, lifted into shallow center. Coming in, and it's going to fall in front of Richardson. Maybe a base hit for Trujillo. Even with the breeze that we have here today, couldn't push it close enough for Richardson to make the catch. Second base and we got a leadoff single. Now bring up Foster. So you have your leading hitter up coming into action today. 363 batting average for Foster. A situation where you want to add to your lead if you can. So we'll see if Foster is asked to bunt. Now Marty defense in on the corners as throw is going to go over to first by Priest. And they were trying to see if Foster would tip what he was going to be doing. Townsend on the edge of the grass at third. Expecting bunt. Muth holding Trujillo on at first. Pitch on the way. It's going to be a called strike. As Foster was swinging away on the first pitch. Owen won the count. Next pitch, Foster's going to lift it foul out of play. Down the left field line. Count quickly, no balls and two strikes. First, the 0-2 pitch, fastball high. Foster on the day, one for two. Single in the second, flew out to left in the fourth. Priest comes set, and a throw over to first. Trujillo back in, standing up. Now the one-two. Swung on, that's going to be lifted into right center field, and that's going to be down as it's going to one-hop to the wall. Trujillo being waved around third, now he puts on the brakes. It'll be a double for Foster. So two on, no outs. There's a good chance that we could see a pitching change here, but we have a visit to the mound. Warming up in the bullpen for Mount Marty is Jared Bell. 
And we do have the call to the bullpen. So with that, we are going to take a break and we'll be back with the new pitcher in just a moment. And welcome back as Jared Bell, the new pitcher for Mount Marty, comes in making his seventh appearance of the season. A 1-0 record, a 4.91 earned run average. 11 innings pitched, 12 hits allowed, 9 runs, 6 earned, 2 walks, 10 strikeouts. Opponents batting 267 against him. Left fielder, and he'll step Taylor in Cullen. with 2 on for Jamestown with Colin at the plate. Colin is one for two in the game. So infield will be in at the corners. They'll play back up the middle. And the first pitch is gonna be a called strike. So Priest is responsible for the two runners on. Next pitch, fastball fouled straight back. I think that foul ball woke up our scoreboard operator. <laughs> it's only about 15 feet above us, but you know, it's the way it is. The 0-2 pitch from Bell. Swung on, lifted foul out of play. Count remains 0-2. Bell comes out throwing strikes. Has an 0-2 count against Cullen. Next pitch. High and inside for a ball. Good waste pitch. See if he could get Colin to chase. So the count now one and two. Bell set and the pitch. In the dirt, blocked by Hancock. And that will keep the runners at second and third. Good sportsmanship by Colin as he picked up the 
catcher's mask and handed it back to Hancock. Two balls, two strikes to count. Bell comes set. The pitch. Fastball swung on and missed. And it was gloved by Hancock. And there's one down. Now we're going to have a pinch hitter for Yackley. Pinch hitting for Yackley. That'll be Tanner Shepard. Shepard. Shepard will step in. Shepard batting 282. One home run, 10 driven in. Line drive, caught over at second, throw to second base. Double play. Foster got too far off the bag on the line out. And that's going to end the inning. A 4 6 double play. No runs, two hits, no errors, one left on base. Go so for Jamestown, no runs game. on, two hits. There were no errors and one left on. Go to the bottom of six. Jamestown in front, one to zero. And welcome back as we go to the bottom of the sixth inning. Billy Hancock leading off. First pitch swinging. He's going to send it into left field. Left center field. Now it's going to be down for a base hit. Big turn at first base by Hancock, but he'll hold up there with the right field off single. Kolevsky. So one pitch, and Lancers have the tying run on. At first base, number 22. We'll have a courtesy runner. Alex Lagruta will be the courtesy runner. Alex Lagruta. Koletsky is at the plate. First pitch is a called strike. So Owen won the count. And throw over to first. Magruda five for seven in stolen bases this season. And another throw over. The kick 
and the pitch. Bunt gonna be put down right back to the hill. But the throw is gonna go to first on the sacrifice. First baseman Colin Moot. So that'll bring up Moot. The runner in scoring position down at second base. LaGruda down at second as Muth gets ready to step in. Muth on the day had his sacrifice bun in his first at bat and then singled in his last at bat. So officially one for one. Slow roller to second base. Throw over to first by Foster is in time. To left fielder. Cole Anderson. Anderson moves down to third. So that's going to bring up Anderson, who is 0 for 2. Struck out swinging in the second and a ground back, ground ball back to the pitcher in the fourth. First pitch fastball called strike by Fitz. Owen won the count. Next pitch, ground ball. Second base, Foster, backhand, throw across, is in time to end the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, one so left for the on Lancers, base. no runs on, one hit. The inning, there are no the errors, base, and one left on. Through six, here in the GPAC tournament Tom opening Larry, game, game Jamestown leads one to zero. And welcome back as we go to the seventh inning. Leading things off will be the catcher for Jamestown, Dirk Amundsen. He'll step in, 0 for 1, struck out. And was pinch hit for last time his spot in the order came up. First pitch, he's gonna be fouled back to the screen. Count 0 and 1. Pitch, swung on and missed. Bell ahead in the count, no balls, two strikes. The kick and the 0-2. Fastball misses away. One ball, two strikes the count to Amundsen. Fastball misses high, ball two.
Wind has shifted slightly, blowing out to right field now. When we started the game, it was blowing out to center. Next pitch fouled back. The count remains two balls and two strikes. Up next here on the Doan baseball field will be Northwestern and Doan. Pitch on the way, breaking ball, swung on and missed for strike three. So there's one down. Now bring up Hacker. Update from Seward. They are in the sixth inning, and Briar Cliff has expanded upon their lead. They now lead 10 to 1 in the sixth inning. Briar Cliff over Morningside. Morningside took three out of four from the Chargers this past weekend to jump in seeding. But those two teams faced off again. First pitch from Bell to Hacker is going to be swung on and missed as Hacker tried to hold up on his swing, unable to do so. Hacker two for two. A single in the third, a single in the fifth. He came around and scored the only run of this game back in the third. Another pitch going off speed, and this one's going to be a called strike. Bell ahead in the count. No balls, two strikes. Bell comes set, the 0-2. Breaking ball, peeled down to first base, and they're going to say that Hacker went through. First strike three. Right fielder Brian Rice. So back-to-back -back strikeouts to open up the seventh inning for Bell. And that will bring us back to the top of the order with Rice. Rice officially 0 for 1. First pitch is a called strike. Walked in the first, had a sacrifice bunt in the third, and then was out trying to bunt for a hit in the fifth. The 0-1, breaking ball grounded to first, flubbed by Muth, flipped to the pitcher covering for out number three. So three up, three down for Jamestown in the seventh inning. We go to bottom of seven. Jamestown leading 1-0. Fazzini will lead off to open up the bottom of the seventh inning. Fitz ready to wind the pitch. Off speed appeal down to the first base umpire says that he did not go through, so it'll be ball one. Next pitch, fastball away, ball two. Fazzini 0 for 2, line out to short, and a foul out to first. Next pitch, fouled off out of play. So 8, 9, and 1 in the order for the Lancers here in the bottom of the seventh of this nine inning contest. Breaking ball, lifted to shallow center, and it's going to hold up long enough for 
Hacker to come in and make the catch. Center fielder, David Richardson. So there's one down. Looked like it was going to be a little blue pit, but it carried enough for Hacker to come in, make the catch. I'll bring up Richardson. Bunt shown, pulled back, pitch taken for a called strike. So Owen won the count. Richardson 0 for 1, struck out in the third, hit by a pitch in his last at bat. We'll lift one into right field. Coming over and making the catch is Rice for out number two. Shortstop, Jet Weber. So we go back to the top of the order with Weber. He is 0 for 3. Fly out to right field in the first. A foul out to the, sec to the second baseman in the third. And a fly out to center in the fifth. First pitch was a called strike. The wind and the pitch from Fitz. Just missing for ball one. So one ball and one strike to count. Next pitch lifted foul out of play. Count now one and two. Bullpen quiet for the Lancers. Looks like it's quiet for, actually it looks like there might be somebody up in the Jamestown bullpen that's where we can only kind of see the catcher. Next pitch lifted to shallow center. It's going to be caught Marty. for out number no three. Runs, no hits, no errors, so three no up, three five down five on three flyouts. Uh, After seven in innings, Jamestown leads one to zero. And welcome back as we go to the eighth inning. Grant Okawa will lead off for Jamestown. Okawa, one for two in the game. He flew out to right back in the first inning. Had an RBI single in the third. Was hit by a pitch in the fifth. Bell comes set. His first pitch of the eighth inning. It's going to be lifted into right field. Koleski stumbled and was able to recover in time to make the catch. So Koleski lost his footing, but Mike able to recover as the ball hung up just enough. He caught it near the right field line. So I bring up the designated hitter Masahara, he pinched hit back in the fifth, popped up to first base. First pitch is a called strike. Pinch hit for Dudley and stayed in the game as the designated hitter. Pitch from Bell, breaking ball, called strike. 
Count 0 and 2. Bell comes set. The pitch. Breaking ball off the end of the bat. Goes under the glove of Bell to second base. The flip to first by Roman to Muth is in time to record the out. First baseman Lincoln Trujillo. So I'll bring up Trujillo. One for three in the game at a single to center field in his last at bat. First pitch, fastball, misses high, ball one. Breaking ball, swung on, popped up. Going back on the grass is the second baseman, Roman, to make the catch in shallow right field to end the inning. So for Jamestown, no runs on, no hits. There were no Lancer errors and no one left on. We go to the bottom of the eighth with Jamestown holding on to that 1-0 lead. And welcome back as Roman will lead off for Mount Marty as we go to the bottom of the eighth inning. First pitch breaking ball, missing just outside ball one. Fastball, can be lifted foul out of play. Fits through seven innings, five hits allowed, no runs, one walk, five strikeouts, 91 pitches entering the inning. Next pitch misses outside. Two and one the count. Kick and the pitch, swung on and missed. Count two and two. Fitz has his sign, the wind, pitch on the way. It's gonna be lined back up the middle. That's gonna be down for a base hit. Roman with the leadoff single. Third baseman, Mason Townsend. That'll bring up Townsend. So Roman with his third hit of the game. One of the few batters who has been able to get to Fitz. And brings up Townsend, who's 0 for 3. First pitch, fouled off out of play. Right 
would assume Aaron Pugh is getting warm in the bullpen at some point. He's the closer, at least based on the stats, for Jamestown. This next pitch fouled off out of play. So Owen to the count to Townsend. Runner at first base, no outs. Here in the bottom of the eighth. And a throw over. Kick and the pitch. Just missing. Ball one. Next pitch will be number 100 for Fitz. One and two the count, a throw over to first. Roman over at first, he let off the inning with a single. Here's the pitch, swung on, lifted foul out of play. So Fitz, 72% of his pitches have been strikes. 72 out of 100 exactly. Next pitch, breaking ball is gonna miss outside. Tried to sneak that curveball past Townsend, but it stayed just outside. The count goes even at two and two. Throw over to first. Throwing, Roman was starting to take his lead. Two and two the count. Pitch on the way, swung on, fouled off out of play. So Townsend has fouled off four of the six pitches he has seen in this at bat. Next pitch, slips it down the left field line and deep. It is going to hook foul. Had the distance for a home run, but it was foul. And Townsend will have to make his way back to the plate. So the count remains two balls and two strikes. Fitz comes set, the pitch. Swung on chest, barely getting a piece of it was Townsend. As he was able to send it back to the screen. Count holds it two and two. Fitz comes set as he has his sign. Chuck's the runner at first, the pitch. Breaking ball missing outside, ball three. Three balls, two strikes, no outs, runner at first. Fitz comes set, the payoff pitch. Fastball fouled off out of play. So we'll go again with another three, two. Every strike that Townsend has seen, he has fouled it off. Fitz comes set, another 3-2 pitch on the way. This is high, ball four. So Townsend earns the walk. And we'll probably have a pinch runner here. Pinch running at first base. Zane Sally. Zane Sally. He's gonna run for Townsend. So great at bat. 
by Townsend. So I'll bring up Hancock. The catcher, Billy Hancock. Hancock struck out his first two at bats looking, singled, and his last one came in the sixth. First pitch called strike outside corner. Infield in at the corners in the event that Hancock would bunt. Two on, no outs. Pitch in the dirt, taken for a ball. Jamestown will continue to play in at the corners. Double play depth up the middle. Would not expect Hancock to bunt. Cleanup hitter, already have a runner in scoring position. Big swing and a miss. Count now one and two. Fitz comes set, pitch, fastball, misses off the plate. Count now even at two and two. Fitz comes set, checks the runners, two two pitch. Swung on, fouled off, out of play. Pretty calm right now, very light breeze. Barely moving the flag on the flagpole. Another 2-2 pitch, runners go. Throw is gonna go down to second, and it's gonna hit the shortstop, Ozaka in the face, and it's gonna roll away, and a run will score. So it'll be a double steal, and then a run scoring on the air. Tied at one. Okawa is covering the bag at second. The ball bounced in, hit him in the face. Now Hancockless went into deep left field. It is gone! A home run for Hancock. His 16th of the season. And the Lancers take the lead, three to one. Town coach Hager coming out to visit with the home plate umpire. Not exactly sure what the issue is. Looks like he's thinking about going out to talk to his pitcher, but continues to argue with the home plate umpire. Now we'll go out to talk to Fitz, who is throwing extremely well 
here in this game, but the Lancers have been able to get to him. And we will have a pitching change. So while that pitching change is being made, we're going to take a break and we'll be back in a moment. And welcome back to Creed, Nebraska. GPAC Baseball here on the Doan Sports Network. New pitcher for Jamestown is Cameron Jenkins. He is four and three on the season with a 4.60 earned run average, making his 20th appearance. He has thrown 29 and a third innings, about 27 hits, 17 runs, 15 have been earned, 10 walks, 30 Regular strikeouts, and opponents are batting 252 against him. So Koletsky will be the first batter he will face as Mount Marty three runs here in the eighth to take a 3-1 lead. First pitch is going to run inside ball one. Next pitch grounded to third. Yackley knocks it down. Throw to first is going to be in time. So I'll bring up Muth. The final line for Fitz, seven innings pitched, seven hits allowed, three runs earned, two walks, five strikeouts. Pitch from Jenkins is going to miss for a ball. Count one and zero. Oh. Muth is one for two, has a sacrifice bunt, a hit, and a ground out, and now he hammers one to deep right center, and gone into the trees beyond the right field wall. And the Lancers have exploded here in the eighth inning. I'll bring up Anderson. It's quiet down in the Lancer bullpen, so they're going to stick with Bell when we go to the ninth. He is the pitcher of record now for the Lancers, and now a pitch can be lifted into left field by Anderson, but not quite enough distance on this one. It's going to be caught for out number two by Cullen. Numbering of Fazzini. Pitch 
which fouled off out of play. Owen won the count. Jenkins ready. And the pitch. Breaking ball, liner caught by Yackley for out number three. But the Lancers come up with four runs on three hits. There was one error and no one four left on base. Run, we go to the ninth inning. Mount Runner, Marty leads four to one. And welcome back as we go to the ninth inning. Mount Marty leading four to one. Quick update from Seward. They are in the eighth inning. Briarcliff leading Morningside 12 to one. First pitch to Foster to open up the ninth inning is gonna be a called strike. Foster, Colin, Yackley, they scheduled batters. Fastball missing inside, ball one. So five, six, seven in the lineup for Mount, or for Jamestown here in the ninth. Bell comes set, the pitch. Breaking ball, misses high. And the count, two and one. Bell comes set, pitch, grounded through the left side. That's gonna be through for a base hit. And the ball's gonna get away from Anderson. And that will allow Foster to move up. So a single and an error. Left fielder, Taylor Cullen. That'll bring up Colin. So Jamestown not gonna go quietly in the ninth. They have a leadoff batter on and standing down at second base. Infield gonna play in at the corners for Colin, even though Jamestown's down by three. Chopper to third, Townsend has it. Throw crossed in time, there's one down. Kendall Yackley. So I'll bring up Yackley. He is 0 for 2 today. He's pinch hit four in his last at bat, or last time that he was scheduled to bat. Bell comes set, the pitch. Fastball misses high, ball one. Two pitchers warming up in the bullpen for Mount Marty to back up Bell just in case. Want to know the count? Next pitch, swung on and missed. As Bell went off speed, Yackley was out in front.
So one ball and one strike to count. Bell comes set. The pitch. Breaking ball. Called strike. Count now. A ball and two strikes. Next pitch on the way from Bell. Swung on, chop foul, third base side. Last couple pitches, Bell has not even taken a look back at Foster. His focus is solely on Yackley at the plate. So one ball, two strikes to count. Bell will come set. The pitch, swung on ground ball, shortstop. It's gonna be picked, throw across, is in time by Weber for out number two. Foster moves down to third base. We're gonna have a pinch hitter it looks like. Pinch hitting, Bramanson. Luke Shakirik. Number 32, Luke Shakirik. A little pinch hit. He is batting 320. 13 home runs, which leads the team. 25 driven in. Big left-handed batter. So Shakirik at the plate. First pitch is going to be swung on and missed. So Owen won the count. Next pitch, fastball misses low. Count even at a ball and a strike. One and one the count, kick and the pitch. Swung on, line drive, out of the reach of the shortstop into left center field. So Weber just unable to get the glove on it and the game is extended. And I'll bring up Hacker. Pinch runner now. Which is not on our roster, but looking at the lineup card, Jared Bentley. Running at first base, Jared Bentley. Umpires are meeting. Not sure if this would have to do with how the official roster was submitted with Bentley as number four, but he is wearing number 26. Now on the lineup card submitted, he is listed as number 26. Our home plate umpire going over to talk to Coach Hager, along with our first base umpire making his way that direction as well. Yeah, 
forces. Now the official signal saying Bentley is in. Serving is also the official scorer. It'd be nice to know what the conversation was about, but we'll just move forward. So Hacker will step in to face Bell. His first pitch is going to be a called strike. going to be fouled off out of play. And actually, thinking about what the issue might have been for Bentley, you had a pinch hitter for the catcher. So normally you could re-enter the catcher and then put in a courtesy runner. However, the catcher had been pinch hit for twice, so he was not allowed to come back in the game. So maybe they had to determine who the next catcher of record was going to be. Next pitch is going to be swung on and missed, and Four that Jamestown is the ball game. For Jamestown, a run on two on hits. Base. There was Four one error in the inning one. and one left on base. So that will do it for this one as Mount Marty rallies in the eighth inning to win this one 4-2. to two. For Mount Marty, four runs on eight hits. They committed two errors and left seven on base. Jamestown, two runs on nine hits. They committed two errors and also left seven on base. Winning pitcher is Jared Bell. He improves to 2-0 and on the season. And the losing pitcher will be Drew Fitz. He drops to 6-3. and Jamestown will play tomorrow at noon. Mount Marty moves on in the winner's bracket, and they will play at 9 a.m. tomorrow against the winner of our next game, which is Doan versus Northwestern. So we're going to take a break here on the Doan Sports Network, and when we come back, we'll have game two of the day. It's Doan Northwestern at approximately 3 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in, Mount Marty and Jamestown fans, and we'll see you again here tomorrow.
and welcome baseball fans back to Crete, Nebraska for Doan University Baseball here on the Doan Sports Network. I'm Rick Schmecker bringing you today's second game of this GPAC tournament Doan bracket as Northwestern, the seven seed, will take on Doan, the two seed. Taking a look at the lineups, first for Northwestern, who comes in with a record of 19 and 25. Leading things off will be the shortstop, Eli Rash. Batting second in right field, Colton Harold. At first base, batting third will be Kip Cullinan. Hitting fourth and at third base, Sam Stanf Stanford. Batting fifth and in left field, Noah Vogel. Batting sixth, the designated hitter, Evan Olson. Batting seventh and at second base, Jaden Snyder. Batting eighth, the center fielder, Sutton Durr, and batting ninth, catching Gavin Lawrenson. On the hill for Northwestern will be Dylan Kirkaby. He is 5-1 on the season. So it's Rash, Harold, Cullinan, Stanford, Vogel, Olson, Snyder, Durr, Lawrenson with Kirkaby pitching. We'll have the donut lineup in just a moment. And now the starting lineup for Doan. Leading things off at first base, Lucas White. Batting second, the third baseman, Talon Little. Hitting third and in left field, Joe Osborne. Batting fourth, the shortstop, Jaron Nakamoto. Hitting fifth and catching, Tucker Catlett. Batting sixth, and the designated hitter, Aaron Mason. Batting seventh at second base, Luke Lachance. Batting eighth, and in center field, Brett Meyer. And batting ninth in right field, Nate Mensick. On the hill for Doan will be Travis Cowan. Cowan comes in at six and three on the season. So for Doan, it's White, Little, Osborne, Nakamoto, Catlett, Mason, Lachance, Meyer, Mensick with Cowan pitching. So in just a few moments, we'll have the introduction of the two teams and then we'll have first pitch. So stay tuned. It's Doan versus Northwestern here in the GPAC tournament.
to the Dome Baseball Complex. Today, this is a Great Plains Athletic Conference tournament matchup between the Northwestern College Red Raiders and your Dome Tigers. Here's your batting order for Northwestern. Leading off the shortstop, number 12, Eli Rash. Batting second, the right fielder, number 27, Colton Harold. Batting third, the first baseman, number 21, Kip Cullinan. Batting cleanup, the third baseman, number 24, Sam Stanford. Batting seventh, the left fielder, number seven, Noah Vogel. Batting sixth, the designated hitter, number 34, Evan Olson. Batting seventh, the second baseman, number six, Jaden Snyder. Batting eighth, the center fielder, number three, Sutton Durr. Catching and batting ninth, number 37, Gavin Lawrenson. Pitching for Northwestern, number 14, Dylan Kirkaby. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, here are your Doan Tigers. Leading off the first baseman, number 29, Lucas White. Batting second, the third baseman, number 10, Talon Little. Batting third, the left fielder, number 14, Joe Osborne. Batting cleanup, the shortstop, number five, Jaron Nakamoto. Batting fifth, the catcher, number nine, Tucker Catlett. Batting sixth, the designated hitter, number 11, Aaron Mason. Batting seventh, the second baseman, number two, Luke Lachance. Batting eighth, the center fielder, number 27, Brett Meyer. Playing right field and batting ninth, number 38, Nate Mensick. Pitching a day for Doan, number 32, Travis Cowan. So Travis Cowan warming up for Doan as he gets the start here in this GPAC opening game, the first home GPAC tournament game for Doan since 2015. And Cowan, 6-3 and three on the season, a 4.45 earned run average, making his 10th start of the year, 11th appearance. 54 and two-thirds innings pitched, 47 hits allowed, 32 runs, 27 have been earned. 29 walks, 66 strikeouts, a 228 opponent batting average. Leading off for so leading things off will be Eli Rash. Number 12, Eli Rash. Rash batting 286, three home runs, 21 driven in. First pitch, he's gonna miss outside for a ball. 316 is our first pitch. Next pitch is gonna be lifted down the right field line, Mensik moving over. He'll make the catch for out number one. Second, the right fielder, number 27, Colton Harold. So I'll bring up Colton Harold. Harold batting 344, 11 home runs, which leads the team, 41 driven in, also team high. Breaking ball, misses for a ball. Line the pitch. Check swing, peel to the first base umpire says he did not go. 
Count two and zero. Oh. Next pitch on the way from Cowan. Can be lifted into right center field. Mensick going back. And it's going to either hop over the wall or be over the wall. It's a home run for Harold. So the Red Raiders will strike first. Heading third, the first baseman, number 21, Kip Cullinan. Harold hits his 12th home run of the season. Actually, that's second on the team. Pakama, who's not in the lineup, has 15. Actually, I'm going to correct myself again. That's RBIs. Got to look at the right column. So Harold does have a team I-12 home runs. That brings up Colin in. First pitch misses low for a ball. Colin in batting 322, four home runs, 25 driven in. Next pitch, swung on, popped up. Foul territory, left field side and into the Northwestern bullpen. One ball, one strike to count. Earlier today, Mount Marty defeated Jamestown four to two as they scored four runs in the eighth inning to come from behind to defeat the Jimmies. So Mount Marty will play the winner of this one tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. The pitch is gonna miss outside for a ball. Count two and one. Fastball, called strike. Count now even, two balls, two strikes. Cowan started for Doan in the GPAC opener this year against Northwestern. Gave up a couple of runs in the first inning, but then came back and picked up the win as next pitch gonna be lined out to Stanford. right field and Mensa will make the catch. Sam Stanford. I'll bring up Stanford. Stanford batting 317, two home runs, 17 driven in. First pitch, fastball called strike. For Doan fans interested in softball, the Doan softball team defeated Mount Marty earlier today, six to three. Last check, they were losing to Morningside in the elimination game, seven to three. Breaking ball just missing. One ball and one strike to count. Over in Seward, Briarcliff defeated Morningside, 12 to one. Concordia and Hastings getting set to play second game of the day over there as well. Next pitch, I'm gonna say that Stanford went through Count now, one ball and two strikes. So one and two the count. Breaking ball called, strike three. So Northwestern gets a run on a hit. There are no errors and no one left on. After half an inning, Northwestern one, Dome coming up.
And welcome back as we get ready for the bottom of the first inning. Finishing his warm-up tosses is Dylan Kirkaby. He's 5-1 and one on the season. 2.37 earned run average, making his ninth start. 11th appearance. 57 innings pitched, 47 hits allowed, 19 runs, 15 of an earned, 19 walks, 49 strikeouts, 220 batting average against. First to face him will be Lucas White. He'll be hitting leadoff for the first time this season. First pitch is gonna be swung on and missed. White hitting 430, 19 doubles, 10 home runs, 46 driven in. Next pitch is gonna miss outside. Count one and one. So Doan fans who have been tuning in all year know that Andy Tyler has been the leadoff hitter for Doan. He unfortunately, due to injury, is gonna miss the tournament. Next pitch fouled back to the screen. Doan entered the midweek, worried that they were gonna have three starters out. However, just Tyler will be out, but unfortunately he's out for the whole tournament from the way things sound. One, two pitch to White, fouled off out of play. So Coach Oltmans, he wanted to keep his top of the order together, not move anybody around, so he just slid everybody up a spot. That's White, Little, Osborne, Nakamoto. They're in the one through four spots here today. Pitch fouled off out of play. Tigers seeing Kirkaby for the first time this season. All conference type pitcher with the numbers he's posted this year. The one two, breaking ball misses outside, ball two. Kick and the pitch. Swung on, fouled off, out of play. So a good battle to open up this second game of the day in the bottom of the first. White and Kirkaby. Line the pitch. Swung on, lifted, foul, out of play. Eight pitches so far in this at bat for White. Two and two the count. Pitch on the way. Swung on, line foul. Right field side. Well, I know Lucas is a baseball guy, but he obviously has taken notes on leadoff hitters. You want to see as many pitches as possible early on? Well, he's seen nine so far. Next pitch, swung on and missed for strike three. So Kirkaby was able to run it low and inside. And actually, they said the pitch was in the dirt, throw down to first is not gonna be in time and it's thrown away and the error puts White at second base. Coach Weedy gonna come out to discuss it. I thought the home plate umpire signaled that it was caught Second, third baseman, number 10, Talon Little. So we're going to see how this plays out. say White stays at second base. So that will go as a strikeout, wild pitch, E2. If you're scoring at home. So that will bring up Talon Little, Tiger leader in home runs, has a school record 15 on the season. He's batting 347. Has 12 doubles and 52 RBIs to go with those 15 home runs. 
First pitch in on the hand, swung on and missed. Owen won the count to Talon Little. Pitch on the way, swung on, pop, foul out of play. No balls, two strikes to count to Little. He hit his second grand slam of the season on Sunday against Jamestown. That was the 15th home run of the season for him to break the score record. The 0-2, fouled straight back. I mean, straight back is the post and the backstop is right behind home plate and he hit it square. Next pitch, just gonna miss high and away for a ball. Little steps back in. One and two the count. Pitch on the way. Called strike three on the outside corner. Batting third, the left fielder. And there's one Number down. 14, Joe Osborne. So I'll bring up Joe Osborne. Batting 318, 14 doubles. Freshman record 10 home runs, 38 driven in. Osborne, a so called super freshman. Came in last year, but due to the pandemic, had the season cut short, so he's technically still a freshman. First pitch, he's gonna miss for a ball. One and oh, the count to Osborne. Western playing for Osborne to pull slightly. Pitch misses away, ball two. Two and oh the count. Kirk could be getting this sign. Pitch on the way, swung on, that's gonna be lifted into left field. This ball's carrying, and it is gone! <laughs> so Osborne puts Doan in front. Shortstop, number five, Jared. His seventh Nakamoto. home run of the, or, excuse me, eleventh home run of the season. Now bring up Jaron Nakamoto. First pitch called strike inside corner. Next pitch grounded foul. Set the defense for Northwestern. You have Vogel in left, Durr in center, Harold is in right. Stanford at third, Rash is over at short, Snyder at second, Cullinan at first, Lawrence and B 
behind the plate. Fastball away, ball one. One ball, two strikes to count to Nakamoto. He's batting 361 on the year. His pitch popped up. Looks like it's gonna stay in play. Foul territory. Now it drops over on the in, in fair territory on the third baseline. Stanford makes the catch. I'll bring up Tucker Catlett. Catlett batting 368. Three home runs, 21 driven in. First pitch, gonna be a called strike. Count 0 and 1. Line the pitch. Taken low. Count evens out at a ball and a strike. Next pitch from Kirkaby, grounded to short. Throw across. It is going to be in time to end the inning. So for Doan, two runs on a hit. There was one Northwestern error and no one left on. After one inning, it's Doan two, Northwestern one. Noah Vogel will lead off to open up the second inning for Northwestern. And all GPAC tournament games are nine inning contest, no mercy rule. First pitch swinging, grounded foul. Doan and Northwestern met to open up the GPAC season. Doan took both games, but the second game was a thriller. His next pitch swung on and missed as Doan scored five runs in the ninth inning to extend it. Northwestern scored a run in the 11th to take the lead and then Doan scored two in the bottom of the 11th for the walk-off win. The wind and the 0-2 from Cowan. Swung on, popped up into left field. Osborne moving towards the line. He's there and makes the catch for out number one. Batting six, designated hitter, number 34, Evan Olson. I'll bring up Evan Olson. Olson batting 282, no home runs, 12 driven in. First pitch runs inside for a ball.
The wind and the pitch from Cowan. Swung on, fouled off out of play, first base side. Breaking ball, misses inside, probably a little bit high. Count now two and one. Cowan has his sign from Catlett. Pitch on the way. Fastball appeal. You're gonna say that Olson went through. Count evens out at two and two. Defensively for Doan, you have Osborne in left, Meyer in center, Mensick in right, Little at third, Nakamoto at short, a chance at second, White at first, Catlett behind the plate. Breaking ball, taken low, four ball, count now three and two. Cowan ready, 3-2 pitch. On the way to Olson. Low and away, ball four. So a one out walk. We'll bring up Snyder. Batting seventh, second baseman. Number six, Jaden Snyder. Snyder batting 259. Five home runs, 23 driven in. Olson now at first base. He is five of seven on the season in stolen bases. First pitch, he's gonna miss outside for a ball. Little playing even with the bag at third. Nakamoto cheated towards the middle at shortstop. Pitch from Cowan. Fastball called strike outside corner. Cowan evens up at one and one. Cowan comes set, check of the runner. Pitch on the way, breaking ball, missing outside. Ball two. Two balls, one strike to count. Pitch from Cowan. It was going to be swung on and missed. So he went fastball. He's able to get it past Snyder. To even out the count, two balls, two strikes. Next pitch, fastball away. Count now full at three and two. So we'll see if Northwestern and Coach Weedy looked to put Olsen in motion with a 3-2 pitch coming up with one out. Throw over to first, a little wide, but White able to bring it in. Two pitch, this is inside, ball four. So back-to-back -back walks with one out as the Red Raiders sending their Durr. leading hitter up Three to the plate. Durr. So Sutton Durr will step in, he's batting 346, which leads the team, two home runs, 15 driven in. Two on, one out. Pitch from Cowan, misses high for a ball. Next pitch, gonna miss as well, ball two. Time gonna be requested as coach Elliot Engel gonna go and talk to his pitcher. 
Northwestern with two on, one out after back-to-back -back walks. Well, Marty players have decided to take in this game. Several sitting out down the left field line, a few sitting in behind home plate. And the Lancers won earlier today, four to two over Jamestown. So they move to the nine o'clock game tomorrow. Jamestown will play at noon. Two and zero the count to Durr. Cowan's pitch, swung on, sent into center field. Meyer moves over, makes the catch, and they're two down. So big out for Cowan. Catcher, number 37, Gavin Lorenzen. So Lorenzen will step in. Lorenzen batting 211, one home run, three driven in. He's Kirkaby's battery mate today. First pitch, fastball misses high, ball one. Next pitch from Cowan, soft liner into right field, down for a base hit. Mensah comes up with the throw to the plate, it's in time! Mensik with another throw out. I believe that's his sixth or seventh assist from the outfield this year. And that will end the inning. No runs on a hit. No errors, two left on base. We go to the bottom of the second inning. Perfect throw by Mensik to the plate to end the inning. So for the Red Raiders. No runs on that one hit, no errors, and two left on. Go to the bottom of the second, don't in front, two to one. Aaron Mason will lead off for Doan as we go to the bottom of the second inning. Mason batting 314 on the air. First pitch swinging, lines it into right field, down for a base hit. Lead off single for Mason. Batting seventh, second baseman, number two. They'll Luke. bring up Luke Lachance. Lachance. Lachance will step in, batting 330. Home run, 13 driven in. Chance squares around, pulls it back, takes the pitch high, ball one.
Robert to be checks the runner. The pitch, one chance. Fouls off the bunt. One ball, one strike to count. Two LaChance. Pitch from Kirkaby. Swung on ground ball to short. Second for one. Relay to first. Not in time. LaChance flew down the line to avoid the double play. Batting eighth, center fielder, number 27, Brett Meyer. So I'll bring up Brett Meyer. Meyer batting 338, no home runs, nine driven in. Lachance down at first base, 17 stolen bases and 20 attempts this year. First pitch comes in high, ball one. Meyer started all four games up at Jamestown in center field for Doan this past weekend. We put together a pretty solid weekend, both in the field and at the plate. Throw over to first, Lachance back in safely. Pitch from Kirkaby. He's going to miss inside for ball two. Two balls, no strikes to count to Meyer. Pitch on the way. Swung on, chop foul, third base side. Count now two and one. Checks the chance over at first. And he'll throw over. Two and one the count to Meyer. Pitch on the way. Runs inside, ball three. Out straight to right field. 3-1 pitch from Kirkaby. It's going to be line foul. For, or third base side. The count has moved full. Three balls, two strikes. Three and two the count. Chance over at first for down. One down. Pitch on the way. Runner goes. And the pitch hit Meyer in the helmet and ricocheted out of play. Heading ninth, the right fielder, number 38, Nate Mensick. Now I'm bringing up Nate Mensick. He threw out a runner at the plate to end the top of the second. That was his seventh outfield assist this year. Mensick batting 268, seven home runs, 28 driven in. Takes the first pitch low for a ball. The 
Chance down at second, Meyer at first. Chance reached on a fielder's choice, Meyer on a hit by pitch. Swung on, lifted into right center. It will be caught by Harold. The chance is going to move up on the play. The first baseman, Lucas White. First pitch to White is going to be taken for a called strike. So runners at the corners. Line drive, gloved by Snyder. Throw to first is going to end the inning. For the Tigers, no runs on a hit, no so errors, two down. left on base. We go to the third no inning. No runs on a hit, no errors, two left on. We still have a lot of hamburgers and hot dogs. We go to the third the inning, going in front, two to one. First pitch to Eli Rash is going to be taken for a ball. One and another count. Next pitch, chopper third base side, but foul. Count evens out at one and one. They're in the bottom of the third over in Seward, and Hastings has taken the early lead, 1-0. Pitch in for a called strike. The wind and the 1-2 from Cowan. Swung on, grounded to third. Little charges, bare hands. Throw across is going to be off line, be an infield hit. Great effort by Little, but unable to get the throw right on the bag. The right fielder, Colton Harold. That'll be an infield single. I'll bring up Harold. Harold accounts for the Red Raiders run in this game as he had a home run in the first inning. Fastball misses away. Good 
pitch in for a called strike. County wins out at one and one. Cowan comes set. The pitch, breaking ball, fouled off out of play. Count now one and two. One ball, two strikes. The pitch. Fastball misses upstairs. Ball two. Rash over at first base. Pitch on the way. Breaking ball. Going to miss. Ball three. Three and two the count. Fastball, chop foul. So we'll go again at three and two. First, Durr back in, or excuse me, Rash back in safely. Cowan comes set. Pitch to Harold. Swung on. That's going to be lifted into left field, right in Osborne's tracks, and he'll make the catch. Didn't even have to move. First baseman, Kit Cullinan. As Coach Engel would say, that's some great scouting. So I'll bring up Cullen in. One down. First pitch got away from Catlett. Peel to the base umpire who says he did not swing, so it'll be ball one. pitch just missing outside count two and oh Colin and awaits at the plate rash takes his lead over at first the 2-0 and miss upstairs ball three Three balls, no strikes to count. Kick and pitch. In there for a called strike. Going and started to toss his bat to the third base dugout. A little bit of a delayed call from behind the plate. So the count now three and one. Throw over to first. Now the 3-1 pitch, swung on and missed. So count now full. Runner goes, called strike three, throw down. It was way off target. Fortunately, Lachance was where he was at. Third baseman, Sam 
Stanford. So it's a strikeout looking, but a stolen base for Rash. And I'll bring up Stanford with two down. First pitch fouled off and caught the home plate umpire. Remember one of our last home games, home plate umpire took a ball off the arm and basically couldn't move his arm the rest of the game. And that happened early in that nine inning contest. Next pitch, swung on and missed. Count 0-2. Kick and the pitch. And Cowan started taking a few steps off the mound. He thought he had a strikeout, but it's going to be ruled inside, ball one. One ball, two strikes to count. Cowan comes set. The pitch. That runs inside. It looked like Stanford was a little upset that he got out of the way of that pitch, but one thing we've seen this year is if you don't attempt to get out of the way, it's a called strike and he would have been out. So the count now two and two. Swung on and missed for strike three. So for the Red Raiders, no runs on a hit, there are no errors, and one left on. Go to the bottom of three, Doan leading two to one. Alan Little to lead off for Doan. First pitch is going to be a called strike. Next pitch, line foul.
Kirkaby's 0-2 pitch on the way. It's going to be taken low. One ball, two strikes to count. Next pitch to Little. Swung on, fouled off. Little, Osborne, Nakamoto for Doan here in the third. Pitch low and away. Count two and two. Kirkaby goes down on the mound. Pitch misses for a ball. Count now full. <laughs> Sent down the right field line. And that's going to be in for a base hit. Little will pull in with a single. The left fielder, Joe Osborne. That bring up Joe Osborne. He had a two run home run for Doan. First pitch misses inside for a ball. Next pitch misses, ball two. Two and oh the count. is going to hit Osborne. So he'll head down to first base. Jaron Nakamoto. We're gonna have a visit to the mound first. So after the visit to the mound, Jaron Nakamoto will step in. Two on, no out. We're down in the bottom of the third. Northwestern expecting Nakamoto to bunt. And he does square around, bunts it foul though, third base side. Pulling and way in on the grass at first. Stand 
Stanford just on the edge of the grass at third. But if Nakamo's bunting, he needs to push it up the third base line. Does square around, takes the pitch high. We want to force Stanford to make the play over at third rather than Cullinan or Kirkaby. You want to try and get the two runners over. Squaring around again, bunts it foul as it's popped up to the dugout. Count now one and two. One ball, two strikes the count. And Nakamoto down on strikes looking. Unfortunately, he knew it. There's one down. So I'll bring up Tucker Catlett. Tiger catcher grounded out to shortstop in his first at bat. First pitch, check swing, foul. That ran in on the hands of Catlett. And as he tried to avoid the ball hitting him, it was able to catch the bat and go foul. Next pitch taken high. Catlett. Showed bunt, thinking of bunting for a hit. Pulled it back. One ball, one strike to count. Kirkaby set. The 1-1. One, one. Foul tipped into the mitt. First strike two. Over in Seward, Concordia answering Hastings. Broncos scored a run in the top of the third. Concordia scores six in the bottom of the third. They lead six to one in the fourth inning. One ball, two strikes to count to Catlett. Little at second, Osborne at first. One down, the pitch. Chase the pitch out of the zone. And Catlett down on strikes. And there are two down. So I'll bring up Aaron Mason. He's one for one. Had a base hit to right field in his first at bat. Pitch from Kirkaby, ground ball to short. Throw to first, and he's going to be in time to end the inning. So Kirkaby works around a hit and a or a hit and a hit batter. So after three innings, Doan leads two to one.
And welcome back as we go to the fourth inning. Vogel will lead off against Cowan. First pitch, swung on and missed. Count on one. Vogel flew out to left field in his first at bat. Next pitch, chopper towards short. Nakamoto charges. Throws on the run. It's in the dirt, but dug up by White for out number one. Designated hitter, Evan Olson. So I'll bring up Olson. First pitch is going to run inside for a ball. I want to send a congratulations to the Northwestern football team. They defeated Morningside last week to advance to the championship game of the NAI football playoffs. Next pitch grounded to third. Little has it. Fires across in time for the out. Snyder. So Snyder steps in. First pitch from Cowan, line drive. That's going to be into left field for a base hit. It was over the head of Nakamoto. I'll bring up Durr. Cowan comes set. First pitch. This is outside for a ball. flew out to center field in his first at bat. Next pitch fouled off out of play. Left field side. Count evens out at one ball and one strike. Snyder at first, has his lead. The 1-1 pitch, runner goes. Pitch taken for a ball, throw down. Not in time. Throw was a little bit high and that was probably the difference. Pitch looked good, but it was called a ball. Snyder picks up his eighth stolen base of the season. Pickoff play, not going to be in time. So Nakamoto snuck in behind Snyder down at second base. Two and one the count. The pitch. Swung on. Chopper to first. White has it. Flips to Cowan. Steps on the bag. Two and the inning. For the Red Raiders, no so for Northwestern, no runs on a hit. There were no errors and one Raiders, left on. We, we go to the bottom of four. Don't in front. Two to one.
Luke Lachance will lead off for Doan. Bottom of the fourth inning. All the runs scored in this game came in the first inning. Solo home run for Northwestern. A two-run home run for Doan. First pitch misses for a ball. A 1-0. -oh. Swung on, left it into right field. And it will be caught. Round number one. Brett Meyer. I'll bring up Brett Meyer. He was hit by a pitch in his first at bat. First pitch swung on and missed. Next pitch, fouled off out of play. And the count is 0-2. Wind and the 0-2. Breaking ball, low and away, ball one. Kirkby trying to get Meyer to go fishing. Wind and the one two. Another breaking ball. This one's going to be lifted down the right field line. Foul territory. A diving attempt. And it will not be caught by calling in. One and two to count. Fastball taken low. Count evens out at two and two. Meyer steps back in. Pitch on the way. Swung on, line into right field. And it's going to hold up enough for Harold to move over and make the catch. So well hit, but almost too hard as Harold able to come up with the catch for out number two. So I'll bring up Nate Mensick. First pitch is going to miss high for a ball. The wind and the 1 0. -oh. Swung on, fouled off. So now the count even at a ball and a strike. to be ready, the pitch. Goes off speed and Mensick out in front. Misses. Count now one and two. Mensick will choke up on the bat. One, two pitch on the way. Breaking ball stays high. Ball two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. The wind and the pitch. Mensick able to foul off the breaking ball. The 
wind and the pitch. Fastball lifted deep down the left field line. It is a home run. Not used to a third umpire, and it was the umpire down the third baseline that called it. Not the home plate umpire who I was watching, so that's why the delay on the call. So a home run for Nate Mensick. The first baseman, Lucas White. So I'll bring up Lucas White. First pitch called strike. Next pitch popped up to left field. Coming in and making the catch the is Vogel for the final out of the inning. So for Doan, they get a run on a hit. And after four innings, Doan leads three to one. Lorenzen will lead off for Northwestern as we go to the fifth inning. Breaking ball first pitch is a called strike. The 0 1 pitch, fastball, called strike two. and the 0-2 pitch from Cowan. Breaking ball it is going to be taken for a ball. Catlow was about ready to throw down to first. Cowan was ready to circle the mound. One ball, two strikes to count. Pitch on the way. Fastball. Swung on a miss. Got away from Catlett. Throw down to first is not in time. It'll be a wild pitch that advances the runner. Shortstop Eli Rash running for Lawrence on first base. So we're going to have a pinch runner, a courtesy Number runner. Mason Porep. Mason Porep will be the courtesy runner as the lineup flips over and Rash will come to the plate. First pitch fouled straight back. Oh, 
Owen won the count. Pitch low and away. Stopped by Catlett before it could skip to the backstop. That will hold the runner poor up over at first base. One and one the count. Check of the runner, the pitch. Swung on, ground ball through the hole on the right side for a base hit. Mensick gets it in quickly. They're two on, with no outs. The right fielder, Colton Harold. And I'll bring up Harold. First pitch breaking ball, fouled back. Owen won the count. Harold squares around a bunt, sends it foul. The count 0 and 2. No balls, two strikes to count. Cowan set, checks the runner down at second, the pitch. Swung on and missed for strike three. The first base Big strikeout for Cowan. I'll bring up Cullen in. First pitch can be sent into center field. Meyer is there to make the catch. And there are two down. Third baseman, Sam Stanford. I'll bring up Stanford. First pitch, swing and a miss. Stanford tried to hold up on his swing, unable to do so. Count 0 and 1. Next pitch, called strike outside corner. Count 0 and 2. So no balls, two strikes to count to Stanford. Cowan comes set. The pitch. Swung on and miss for strike three. Four Northwestern, no runs on a hit, no errors. Two so for Northwestern, no runs on a hit. There were no errors and two left on. We go to the bottom of the fifth with Doan in front, three to one.
Talon Little will lead off for Doan as we go to the bottom of the fifth inning. And the first pitch will miss inside and low, ball one. Little's average at 348. As he is one for two in this game. Singled in his last at bats. Pitch misses for ball two. Little going to request time. Fix the brace down around his ankle. Two balls and no strikes to count. Breaking ball in there for a called strike. Count now, two balls and a strike. Kirk could be ready, the pitch. Low, ball three. Hitters count, three balls, one strike. Pitch on the way, runs inside for ball four. Lead off walk for Little. The left fielder, Joe Osborne. So that's gonna bring up Joe Osborne. Osborne has a two run home run and has been hit by a pitch. So one for one in the game. Kirkaby checks little at first, the pitch on the way, low and away, ball one. One and another count, Kirkaby now at 80 pitches in the game. Pitch on the way is a called strike. Count even, one ball and one strike. What little breeze we've had today has died down now, just picks up as I say that. Blowing out to right field. Pitch fouled off, or excuse me, pitch taken outside for a ball. And the count now two and one. Two balls, one strike to count. Pitch, swung on and missed. And the count now even at two and two. Two pitch, swung on and missed. And Osborne's gonna be down on strikes. So I'll bring up Jaron Nakamoto. Nakamoto awaits at the plate. First pitch on the way. Breaking ball, it's gonna be a called strike. Nakamoto 0 for two, pop up to third base and a strikeout. Breaking ball misses, high. Count evens out at one and one. One pitch from Kirkaby coming up. It's gonna be swung on, popped up, foul territory, third base side. Stanford moves over and makes the catch in foul territory. 
from number two. Catcher Tucker Catlett. They'll bring up Tucker Catlett. Update from Seward. They are in the sixth inning and Concordia now leads seven to one. So that's the Concordia bracket. Briarcliff, er, Briarcliff won earlier today, 12 to one over Morningside. So Briarcliff meets the winner of that Concordia Hastings game, which right now looks like it's gonna be Concordia. First pitch to Catlett, comes in high for a ball. Winner of this game will take on Mount Marty. The Lancers came from behind to defeat Jamestown earlier today, four to two. Pitch swung on and missed. One ball, one strike to count. Pitch, this is away, ball two. Kirk could be at 90 pitches. Next pitch is going to miss outside, ball three. Three one pitch outside for ball four. So the two out walk. Puts two on for Doan. Second baseman, Luke Lachance. We'll see, I assume Doan will have a courtesy runner come out. Correction, the designated hitter, Aaron Mason. That will be Tanner Black, who will come out as the courtesy runner for Doan. Tanner Black, the courtesy runner at first base. And that will bring up Aaron Mason, who is one for two in this game. Two on, two out for the Tiger designated hitter. First pitch, breaking ball in for a called strike. Pitch from Kirkby. He's going to be foul tipped into the mitt. And the count is now 0 and 2. Little down at second, black on at first. The 0 2 pitch. Swung on and missed for strike three. No hits, no errors, two left on base. So for Doan, no runs on, no hits. There were no errors, two left on. After five, Doan leads three to one.
Vogel will lead off for Northwestern as we go to the sixth inning. First pitch from Cowan, give me a called strike. Breaking ball out, it's gonna miss outside, ball one. One ball, one strike to count. The pitch, fastball, called strike. Cowan, head in the count, a ball and two strikes. Next pitch, swung on and missed. Ball got away from Catlett. He'll throw down to first base. Right, we'll step on the bag. Evan Olson. So one down, they'll bring up Olson. Ball. This is outside ball one. The 1 0 pitch grounded to third. And Little knocks it down. But it goes into foul territory. Base hit for Olsen. As Little prevented it from going down the line and possibly being extra bases. Second baseman Jaden Snyder at the concession stand. Hamburgers and hot dogs are half off. That equates, I believe, to $2 a piece. So Snyder steps in. Ground ball in the hole via base hit. The Red Raiders with two on, with one down. So base hit through the right side for Snyder. Center field his side second hit. Now bring up Durr. Two on, one out. First pitch, chop foul, first base side. Count 0 and 1. <laughs> See some action down in the northwestern bullpen. Pitch misses outside. One ball, one strike, the pitch. Fouled off out of play. So the count now one and two. Looks like Brady Roberts warming up in the bullpen for Northwestern. Kirk could be around 100 pitches already. Pitch misses outside for a ball. Cowan sitting at 90 pitches here in the sixth. Cowan will spin back and 
chase Olsen back to second base. Two two pitch, swung on ground ball. Lachance dives, makes the play, throw to first, in time. So there are two down. Great play by Lachance. And we're probably gonna have a pinch hitter the way it looks. Pitch hitting for Lawrenson. Number 25, Mo Watson. So Mo Watson will be the pinch hitter. First pitch is a called strike. Watson on the season, two for 19. Breaking ball. Misses for a ball. The count even had a ball and a strike. The wind and the one one. Fastball away. Ball two. Two balls, one strike, two down, two on. The pitch fouled back to the screen. Count now two and two. Cowan ready, the 2 2 pitch. Breaking ball, lifted into right field. Mensick going back. Still going back, unable to make the catch. Two runs are going to score. And a pinch hit double for Watson. Courtesy runner. Now batting the shortstop, Eli Rash. So basically, Lawrenson will check back in and then get the courtesy runner to come in right away. So pour up down at second base. So we're tied at three here in the sixth. And I'll bring up Rash. Cowan comes set, the pitch, breaking ball. Taken for a ball, count one and one, one and no. Fastball outside, ball two. Two balls, no strikes to count. Fastball called strike. Count now two and one. Cowan comes set, check of the runner. 
the 2-1. Fastball, misses away. Ball three. So Cowan now at 100 pitches. One pitch swung on and missed and the count goes full three balls two strikes looks like there's some action down in the Doan bullpen so both bullpens are active payoff pitch swung on lifted down the right field line Mensick coming in dives Unable to make the catch in foul territory. Three balls, two strikes, still to count on Rash. Allen comes set, the pitch, taken in the dirt for ball four. And I'll bring up Harold. The right fielder, Colton Harold. And Coach Engel going to come out to have a visit. We're going to take a quick break, be back in a moment. So Harold will step in. First pitch in for a called strike. Count 0 and 1. Breaking ball misses inside. Count evens up at a ball and a strike. One and one the count as Cowan comes set. Pitch to Harold. Swung on, chopper to short. Nakamoto has it. Throw across, in time to end the inning. So for the Red Raiders, two runs on three hits. There were no don errors and two left on. We go to the bottom of six, tied at three.
Luke Lachance, first pitch swinging. And it's going to drop over the third baseman and just past the outreach of the shortstop. And a leadoff single for Lachance to open up the bottom of the sixth inning. The center fielder, Brett Meyer. So that's going to bring up Meyer. So a couple options for Doan. You have Meyer. You could ask him to bunt. No chance. You could ask him to run. Or you could have a hit and run put in place. If he so choose. Meyer squares around, lays down a good bunt, third base side. Throw to first. So it's going to be in time, but the sacrifice is executed. The right fielder, Nate Mensick. I'll bring up Mensick, who had a home run in his last at bat. Kirkaby, come set. The pitch. Off speed pitch fouled off off the end of the bat. That squibbed foul, first base side. Count 0 1. on the way, taken low. Ball one. Kirkaby now at 100 pitches. Pitch. Foul tipped at the plate. Count now a ball and two strikes. One ball, two strikes to count. Kirkaby set the pitch. It's going to be a called strike three. Mensick down on strikes looking. And there's two down. First baseman, Lucas Light. So I'll bring up Lucas White. So Lucas White will step in. Runner at second, two down. Tigers looking for a two out base hit to retake the lead. First pitch, it's gonna be in for a called strike. won the count to White. Time. Time. A warning has been given to Kirkaby, the way it sounds, for delay. I'm assuming it was called by the base umpire. I heard him say something about stepping off and then stepping back on, so. Assuming it had something to do with the delay. The 0 1. This is low and away. Ball one. One, 
1-1 pitch, swung on, hit into deep center field. It is gone! Two run home run! Lucas White. So Doan regains the lead on a home run. And that's going to do it for Kirkaby. He threw a heck of a game. So he's going to exit with Doan in front in the bottom of the six. We're going to take a break, give you the new pitcher when we come back. Brady Roberts, the new pitcher for Northwestern, three and five record, making his 13th appearance, 4.22 earned run average, 59 and two thirds innings pitched, 62 hits, 42 runs, 28 have been earned. 24 walks, 52 strikeouts, and a 270 batting average. Pitch to Little, he's gonna miss. Count two and oh. Pitch is a called strike. Misses inside, ball three. Three balls, one strike. Pitch on the way, swung on, pop foul out of play.
Next pitch, that's gonna hit into deep left field. It is gone! Number 16 for Talon Little. Bring up Joe Osborne. Pitch popped up. Shallow right field. Calling for it and taking it is Harold to end the inning. But for Doan, three runs on three hits, including two home runs. There were no errors and no one left on base. Tigers, After six, Doan leads no six to three. Nobody left on base. So Conan will pop up to the shortstop, and there's one down. The new pitcher is Kyler Beekman. Stanford at the plate. A little floater in her center field. That's going to drop for a base hit. on the season. He is 5-0, making his 10th appearance, a 3.54 earned run average. 40 and two-thirds innings pitched, 46 hits, 20 runs, 16 earned, six walks, 23 strikeouts. Opponents batting 279 against him. Pitch is going to be swung on and missed. 
Count 0 and 1. Little floater down the left field line. That's going to fall in for a base hit. The Northwest are not hitting them hard, but finding the right spot. Designated bring up Olson. Olsen at the plate. Breaking ball in for a called strike. Owen won the count. Pitch is going to be lifted into shallow left field. Osborne looked like he lost it for a moment, but able to recover, makes the catch. Second baseman, Jason Snyder. So Snyder will step in now with two down, two on. Me line into left field. It's going to be over the head of Osborne. It's going to one hop the wall. Throw to the plate is not in time. And two runs score on the double. Northwestern fighting right back. Center fielder, Sutton Durr. So Durr at the plate. First pitch misses outside for a ball. drive foul out of play. The count evens out at one and one. Beekman has the sign, comes set. The pitch. Line drive off the glove of LaChance into center field and will be tied on the base hit. pinch hitter as Porup, who has been used as the courtesy runner, will now bat for Lorenzen. Batting and for Lorenzen. Lorenzen will be out of the game. Mason Porup. First pitch is going to miss low for a ball. Count 1-0. and oh. 
Dur over to first and back in standing up is Dur. Swung on, popped up, right field line foul territory. White goes back over the shoulder and he makes the catch to end the inning. But Northwestern comes back, three runs on four hits. There were no errors and one left on. We go to the bottom of the seventh, tied at six. Jaron Nakamoto will lead off for Doan in the bottom of the seventh inning. First pitch is going to be taken for a ball. Jacob Kindhart is the new catcher for Northwestern. Pitch misses outside for a ball. Two and zero, oh the count. The pitch, blown away. Ball three. Three zero oh pitch, in there for a called strike. So three balls, one strike to Nakamoto. Outside, ball four. Lead off walk, four down. The catcher, Tucker Catlett. So I'll bring up Tucker Catlett. They are in the eighth inning. Concordia leading Hastings, 11 to five. Catlett going to try and bunt for a base hit and grounds it foul wide at the third baseline. So Owen won the count to Catlett. Pitch, bunt, foul. Count 0 and 2. No 
No balls, two strikes to count to Catlett. Pitch on the way, swung on, fouled back. No balls, two strikes to count to Catlett. Throw over to first, Nakamoto back in, standing up. Pitch is going to miss for a ball. Count now one and two. One ball, two strikes, the count to Catlett. The pitch. Swung on, ground ball to second. Throw to second base for one. Relay to first, double play. So four, six, three, double play. And I'll bring up Aaron Mason. First pitch to Mason, swung on and missed. Count 0 1. Breaking ball, swung on and missed. Mason down in the count, no balls, two strikes. Pitch in the dirt, ball one. One and two the count. Pitch from Roberts in the dirt, ball two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Robert Sutt, pitch for, on the way, taken for a ball. Count now full. Now the three, two. Swung on ground ball, foul. Another 3 2 pitch coming up from Roberts. Swung on and missed. Got away from the catcher. Throw down to first is going to be in time. For the Tigers, no runs, no hits. For Doan, no runs on, no hits. There were no errors, no one left on. We go to the eight, tied at six.
New pitcher for Doan as we go to the eighth inning is Thaniel Trumper, one and two record, making his 19th appearance, a 5.50 earned run average, seven saves, 36 innings, 42 hits are allowed, 27 runs, 22 earned, 11 walks, 49 strikeouts. Opponents batting 282 against him. First pitch swinging. Ground ball to Little. Throw across is going to be in time for out number one. One pitch, one out. Now bring up Harold. Pitch on the way, swung on, popped up. Shallow right field, Lachance looks to be calling for it, and he'll make the catch for out number two. First baseman, Kip Cullinan. They'll bring up Cullinan. First pitch taken for a ball. Want to know the count? Trumper's pitch swung on, fouled off, out of play. Count evens out at a ball and a strike. Swung on, lifted into right center field. Meyer on the run, reaches up and makes the catch to end the inning. So three up, three down for Northwestern in the eighth. We'll go to the bottom of the eighth, tied at six. Luke Lachance will lead off for Doan as we go to the bottom of the eighth. First pitch is going to be taken for a ball. One ball, no strikes to count. The pitch. That one is sailed to the backstop for ball two. Two and oh to count to Lachance. Tried to hold up, but went through on his swing. Probably chasing ball three. 
But the count now two and one. Now the two one pitch swung on popped up foul territory. And it is going to not be caught as it bounced off the catcher's chest and hit the backstop. The count now two balls and two strikes. runs inside for a ball. Count now full at three and two. Three balls, two strikes to count. The pitch in the dirt for ball four. So leadoff walk for the Tigers. And they'll bring up Meyer. The center fielder. Brett Meyer. Again, Tigers with some options. You can have Meyer bunting. You can have Lachance running. Have a new catcher in the game, so that may affect what Coach Oltman's is thinking, as well as a new pitcher from the last time Lachance was on. Meyer starts to square around, holds it back, takes the pitch for a called strike on the outside corner. Count 0 and 1. Throw over to first and a chance back in safely. Owen won the count. Pitch, bunt, put down towards third baseline. Throw to first is gonna be in time if the sacrifice is executed. The right fielder, Nate Mensick. So I'll bring up Mensick. Mensick awaits at the plate. First pitch, he's gonna miss high for a ball. Count one and zero. Oh. One and zero, oh the count. Next pitch is going to be popped up, foul out of play. The count evens out at one and one. One ball, one strike to count. Pitch swung on. That's going to be lined into center field. The chance is going to tag. It's going to be caught, and the chance will move up to third base. Now there are two down. The first baseman, Lucas White. I'll bring up Lucas White.
So I'll bring up Lucas Wipe at first day visit to the pitcher's mound. So White in his last at bat had a two run home run. He is one for four in this game. Two runs scored and two driven in. First pitch to White. It's going to be a called strike on the outside corner. Owen won the count. The pitch in the dirt skips away, but not very far. One ball, one strike to count. One ball, one strike to Lucas White. The pitch. It's going to be a called strike outside corner. Roberts comes set. The pitch. In the dirt, skips away, and that's going to bring in the go-ahead run. So a wild pitch, plates the chance. The count goes to two balls and two strikes. Roberts comes set. The pitch. Swung on, fouled off at the plate. And that caught the home plate umpire. Swung on, lifted into center field, and it will be caught for out Boy, number three. No hits, no errors. And for Doan, one run on no hits. There were no errors and no one left on no base. Left on base. We go to the, we ninth, go to the inning. ninth inning. Doan in front, seven to six.
Stanford will lead off for Northwestern as we go to the ninth inning. First pitch is going to be lined into center field right at Brett Meyer, and he'll make the catch for out number one. The left fielder, no. I'll bring up Vogel. Pitch a called strike. Next pitch swung on and missed. And the count, 0 and 2. Jumper set, the 0-2 pitch. Swung on, soft liner into left center field, down for a base hit. Now bring up Olson. Designated hitter Evan Olson. over to first, just a tad late as Vogel able to beat the tag. First pitch to Olsen, gonna be a called strike. Owen won the count. Next pitch. Fastball swung on and missed. Count 0 and 2. Trumper comes set. Pitch swung on, pop foul out of play. No balls, two strikes to count. Pitch on the way. Fastball called strike three. And there are two down. Second baseman, Jaden Snyder. Now bring up Snyder. First pitch swinging, fouled off out of play. Count 0 and 1. Trumper comes set. Check of the runner, the pitch. Fastball just off the plate. Ball 1. Next pitch, ground ball to a chance. He'll flip to second for the force out to end the ball game. No runs, one hit, no errors, one left on base. That concludes the game. We'll have your finals in a moment. So Doan takes game one, seven to six. So for the Tigers, seven runs on seven hits, no errors, six left on base. Northwestern, six runs on 13 hits, one error, and they left 10 on base. Winning pitcher is Thaniel Trumper. He improves to 2-2 two and two on the year. 
The loss will go to Brady Roberts. He drops to three and six. Doan will play at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning as they take on Mount Marty. Northwestern and Jamestown will meet up at noon. And then there will be a third game tomorrow at 3 o'clock. So until then, I'm Rick Schmecker. Thanks for watching here in the opening day of the GPAC tournament. We'll see you tomorrow morning for day two of the Doan Bracket.